Understand, plan, solve, and check. All right, read me the problem. Margo has eight different kinds of tea in her pantry. Each kind of tea is in a different box. And there are 14 packets of tea in each box. Her friend Liz has the same number of tea packets. How many tea packets do they have all together? Very good. And we're seeing that word again. What does that mean? All together. Are we always going to add? No. No. It means we're going to be putting some stuff together. But we could multiply or we could add. But are we going to just take 8 and 14 and start adding numbers? No. 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 So we got to understand first. What are they asking us? So how many does Margo and Liz have together? So we have Margo and Liz. And how many do they have all together? See that like this, right? Yes. All right. So are we going to figure out how much they have? Just one of them? No. no. So we have to figure out what? How much each one has. And just like when we're making change, just like when we're subtracting or add, we always have to figure out how much do we have. So how much does Margo have? Dominic. How much does Margo have? How much does Liz have? Okay? So we have to figure them out kind of separately, right? Before we can figure out together. Very good. All right, so. We've read through our problem once. Part of our plan, what do we think our plan is going to be? What's our plan always going to be? We've got to draw it out. When there's this many numbers and this many words, we've got to draw it out. So let's start with the first sentence. Boxing in and drawing out. Margo has eight different kinds of tea in her pantry. Very good. So, Margo has eight different kinds of tea. So we are boxing what? Eight. Very good. We're starting with Margot, right? All right. We got eight. Second sentence. Each kind of tea is in a different box. And there are 14 packets of tea in each box, okay? So, in each one of her different kinds of tea boxes, there are how many? 14. 14. Okay. Next sentence. Her friend Liz has the same number of tea packets. Okay? So Liz has the same number. So do we have to figure out how many Liz has? No. We do? No. no. Why? Because they have the same. Because it's the same. So if we figure out Margot, Liz will be the same. the same. So do we have to figure out what Liz has? No. We will just what? Multiply. We can multiply by what? Two. We can multiply by two. Or we can what? Well, yeah, or double it. It, would be re it wouldn't be really repeat because you'd only be adding two things. It's more of a doubling, right? Yeah. All right, so now we've kind of drawn our problem out. We know what we're looking for. we got to figure out Margot first, okay? So how are we going to figure out Margot? We kind of drew it out. We got our tea packets and our numbers of um, boxes and all that. Yeah. Okay, so I could add 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14. Plus 14. Do I want to do that? Okay, what would probably be a more efficient way? 14. 14 times 8. 14 times 8. So go ahead and write that on there. And this one we're going to do straight traditional because there is no tenths place. So go ahead and do that for me, and I'm going to see what you get. Multiply 14 times 8. Okay. 
Fourteen times eight. Where are you going to start? What place are you starting? In the ones place. Good job. Plus three with the circle. Okay, so now one times eight equals what? And then you have to add your three in. Are we done? Because I see 112 is A. Are we done? No. Why aren't we done? Because we have to check. Okay. We do have to check. Yes. We got, we've only figured out. This is just Marco. But if you notice, our answer is there. Is that our answer? No. No. I hear that. All right, so we got 112. Oh, well, let's go through our steps just to review. Four times eight is plus three circle. One times eight is eight plus three is 11. So this is 112 packets for who? Margo. But I'm not done because I have to figure out all to gather. So how do I figure out all together? Add. Double it. I can multiply. Oh, excuse me. Double it. I can add 112 to 112. Or I could do what? 112 times 2. I'm going to add because I like that one better today. So how many packets all together? 224 packets all together. Now, checking myself, I could multiply 112 times 2. 2 times 2 is? 1 times 2 is? 2. 1 times 2 is? 2. So check. Check. Now what is my answer? C. 224C. But this is where we have to make sure we're understanding because if we just get 112, we would have chose A. Right. Hmm? Yes. All right, very good, very good, guys. Killed it. Awesome. We'll do our next two problems tomorrow when we meet, okay?